Good morning from BBC London News. I'm Victoria Hollins. A 31-year-old man arrested on suspicion of shooting a police officer in Hackney yesterday will continue to be questioned by police this morning. The family of a retired primary school teacher murdered in East London 20 years ago have made a new appeal to find her killer. A new exhibition which looks at women's experiences of the Second World War has opened at the Imperial War Museum. OK, let's get a check on the travel. Turning to the roads, though, and the Mall and uh, roads within St James's Park are closed at the moment. That's for an event rehearsal. All quiet there, as you can see. Uh, on the A406, the long-term works continue in Neasden, so do expect delays on the North Circular. And uh, in Green Lanes, one lane is closed both ways at Regent's Avenue. That's because of a sewer collapse. And finally, on the A13, there's heavy traffic westbound already, and that's Dagenham all the way through to Barking. And that takes us to the weather then with Elizabeth Rizzini. Right, I'm back with the latest from the BBC London newsroom in half an hour. Plenty more, of course, on our website, but we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Good morning from BBC London News. I'm Victoria Hollins. A 31-year-old man arrested on suspicion of shooting a police officer in Hackney yesterday will continue to be questioned by police this morning. The family of a retired primary school teacher murdered in East London 20 years ago have made a new appeal to find her killer. A new exhibition which looks at women's experiences of the Second World War has opened at the Imperial War Museum. OK, let's get a check on the travel situation. On the roads, though, the A406 North Circular has long-term works uh, continuing in Neasden. And as you can see from the picture there, queues are pretty bad westbound. That's from Staples Corner. In the West End, uh, the closure of the Mall and uh, roads within St James's Park are ongoing. That's because of event rehearsals. In Green Lanes, one lane is closed both ways at Regent's Avenue. That's because of a sewer collapse. And the A127 queues westbound into the roadworks at Ardley Green Road. And that takes us to the weather with Elizabeth Rizzini. Right, I'm back with the latest from the BBC London newsroom in half an hour. Don't forget there's always plenty more news, travel and weather on our website. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Good morning from BBC London News. I'm Victoria Hollins. A 31-year-old man arrested on suspicion of shooting a police officer in Hackney yesterday will continue to be questioned by police this morning. The family of a retired primary school teacher murdered in East London 20 years ago have made a new appeal to find her killer. A school in South London has won the prestigious Royal Institute of British Architects Stirling Prize for the UK's best new building. OK, let's get a check on the travel. On the roads, though, there's one lane blocked on the M25 anti-clockwise between Junction 24 and 23, although it looks like it's cleared, so don't worry about that now. Uh, Long-term works continue, though, on the A406 North Circular in Neasden. Uh, there are queues westbound from Staples Corner. The A127 queues westbound into the roadworks at Ardley Green Road. And finally, the West End has been closed of the Mall and roads within St James's Park because of event rehearsals. And that takes us to the weather with Elizabeth Rizzini. Right, that's it from us for now. We're of course back in half an hour. You can always get the latest news, travel and weather on our website. Bye-bye. Good morning from BBC London News. I'm Victoria Hollins. The Met's police commissioner, Sir Bernard Hogan Howe, has described as exceptional an officer who was shot in the shoulder in Haggerston. More than two-thirds of passengers think TfL should run London's railways. Well, on the subject, here's the travel news. On the roads, though, there is uh, one lane blocked on the M25 anti-clockwise between Junction 24 for Potter's Bar and 23 for the A1M because of an accident, though things are moving. The M23 is blocked southbound, approaching M the M25, and uh, the long-term works continue on the A406 North Circular in Neasden, and so expect queues from Staples Corner. And that takes us to the weather with Elizabeth Rizzini. You can follow all the news for London as it happens on the BBC local live page of our website, which is going live shortly. Bye for now. Good morning from BBC London News. I'm Victoria Hollins. The Met Police Commissioner, Sir Bernard Hogan Howe, has described as exceptional an officer who was shot in the shoulder in Haggerston yesterday. A High Court judge is expected to rule later on the legality of the minicab hailing app Uber. More than two-thirds of passengers think TfL should run London's railways. A new exhibition which looks at women's experiences of the Second World War has opened at the Imperial War Museum. OK, let's get a check on the travel situation. On the roads, though, there's one lane blocked on the M25 anti-clockwise. Well, there was between Junction 24 and 23, although it's all cleared. Finally, on the A11, there are delays westbound from Mile End to Oldgate, and that's because of uh, roadworks, so watch out in the area. 
And that takes us to a check on the weather with Elizabeth Rizzini. Right, Vanessa Feltz is on our radio station uh, at BBC Radio London. She'll be taking your calls just after nine. The calls for a complete overhaul of the charity sector following the closure of Kids Company. And Vanessa wants to know your thoughts. We're back in half an hour. We'll see you then. Bye for now. Good morning from BBC London News. I'm Victoria Hollins. A High Court judge is expected to rule this morning on the legality of the minicab hailing app Uber. The family of a retired primary school teacher murdered in East London 20 years ago have made a new appeal to find her killer. OK, let's have a look at the travel roads, though. The A406, long-term works continue in Neasden. Very heavy queues there, westbound from Staples Corner and eastbound from the Harrow Road. And that takes us to the weather. A cloudy but dry day with a chance of a few spots of rain later on, feeling a little chillier than yesterday, and we'll see a top temperature of 14 degrees. That's it. I'll be back with the lunchtime news at 1.30. Do have a lovely morning. Bye for now.